Hey guys, Madison here, and I'm back for Film Friday number 33. Thank you so much for your patience while I took a week off from reaction videos to attend Alabama Comic Con for the second time. It was a blast and it was a very successful weekend. So again, thank you all for your patience. I'm excited to be back and doing another movie reaction this week. I'm doing another Western. If you know me, you know I love Westerns. And this week I am watching Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid for the first time. I'm so excited. I love a good outlaw story. And this is actually historically a bit of a blind spot for me. I know a lot about Jesse James. I know a lot about Billy the Kid. I know a lot about certain uh, subjects in Western lore, but Butch Cassidy, uh, The Wild Bunch, all of that is kind of a historical blind spot for me. I've read bits and pieces here and there, but I don't really remember much. I haven't really studied it. So it's kind of a good thing, actually, because then I won't be watching this whole movie going like, that didn't happen or that's not historically accurate or whatever. I can just enjoy the movie for what it is and read up on them later and find out, you know, what's what's the down low on Butch Cassidy and what happened to him. Because honestly, I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't remember what happened to him in The Sundance Kid. So that's another good thing because it will have no... I have no idea how this movie's gonna end. I don't remember if they got like killed or arrested or if they got away. I, I have no idea. So I am ready to just go along for this adventure and enjoy another classic Western that I have not seen. This is one of those kind of from the Clint Eastwood Western era. Um, if I'm remembering right, it's been a while since I've watched the Man With No Name trilogy, but I think all of those were from the 60s. I can't remember when the good, the bad and the ugly was. Um, so you'll forgive me if I'm wrong on those dates, but kind of all from the same era here. Um, so yeah, guys, without further ado, let's watch this movie. this opening reel here. It's so great. Most of what follows is true. That's great. Love how it's in sepia tone. It's not even in black and white. It's a nice sepia. Uh. What happened to the old bank? It was beautiful. People kept robbing it. <laughs> Small price to pay for beauty. Is he scoping out the place? I can't even spot how you're cheating. You can get shot for accusing someone of cheating back then. <laughs> the money stays, and you go. You don't have to mean it or anything. Just ask us to stick around, I promise you. I didn't know you were the Sundance Kid when I said you were cheating. Just stick around. Thanks. <laughs> we gotta get going. <laughs> hey, kid. How good are you? He ain't messing around. <laughs> Ooh. Switching into color. Interesting. What's your idea this time? Bolivia? Tahiti. Tahiti! <laughs> you just keep thinking, Butch. That, that's what you're good at. <laughs> Boy, I got vision and the rest of the world wears bifocals. Hi, right, News. What you doing? Oh, howdy, Butch. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Howdy, Sundance. When I left, I gave orders. New orders been given. Well, I run things here, Harvey. You just who you did. Butch Cassidy's hole in the wall gang struck. Butch again Cassidy's hole in the wall gang. That's me. Idaho bank of over close to twenty thousand. You want Harvey to do your planning for you? I just love reading my name in the paper, Butch. Okay, so we just. You always said that any one of us could challenge you, Butch. Well, because I figured no one would do it. <laughs> Figured wrong, Butch.
That horse is like, I want no part of this. <laughs> when it's done, if I'm dead, kill him. Love to. Rules! In a knife fight? No rules! What? Well, if there ain't gonna be any rules, let's get the fight started. Someone count one, two, three, go! <laughs> one, two, three, go! <laughs> oh my gosh. That was funny, man. <laughs> Oh man, I'm having so many Red Dead 2 flashbacks right now. <laughs> I work for Mr. E. H. Harriman of the Union Pacific Railroad. And he entrusted me. <laughs> oh man. Hey, Woodcock. Hey, Woodcock, you alright? Whatever Harriman's paying you ain't enough. He's alive. For now. <laughs> Uh, how many of you can bring your own guns? How many of you are going to want me to supply you with guns? He's going off to fight the war. What war? The war with Spanish. Remember the man. <laughs> They're sitting right there. That's my real name. Robert Leroy Parker. No fooling? Uh -uh. Meet the future! Future what? The future mode of transportation for this weary western world. Now, I'm not going to make a lot of excuses. I'm not picky. Are you going to turn your back on law and order for As long as she's smart. Pretty. <laughs> Refined. <laughs> lovely. Careful. Keep going, teacher lady. I'm assuming they know each other. You know what I wish? What? That once you'd get here on time. <laughs> okay, I was about to say. <laughs> I thought they knew each other or were together, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> Raindrops keep falling on my head. This is so fun. <laughs> because I'm free. I love that he got one of those bikes. <laughs> Backwards, that's impressive. Oh. <laughs> Was impressive? Uh oh. <laughs> you better hide tail it. I've been working like a dog all my life, and I can't get a penny ahead. Sundance says it's because you're a soft touch and always taking expensive vacations. Do you ever wonder if I'd met you first, we'd been the ones to get involved? Well, we are involved, really. Don't you know that? What are you doing? Stealing your woman? Take her. <laughs> hey, Woodcock! You okay? Uh, well, sorta. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's take a look at you. Oh my gosh. I'm a grandmother and a female and I've got my rights. We got no time for this. You can bull all the others, but you can't bull me. Oh, be thy day. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it oh. is in heaven. Well, that ought to do it. Think you's enough dynamite there, bud? <laughs> yeah, now all the money is just gonna fly away. <laughs> is that one coming the same way? I crash into that train. <laughs> Oh boy. Whatever they're selling, I don't want it. <laughs> Here comes the posse. How many of them are following us? All of them. All of them? What's the matter with those guys? I think we lost them. 
You think we lost him? No. Neither do I. Especially not in the sand with those tracks leading right to you. You know, I swear, if he told me I rode out of town ten minutes ago, I'd believe him. He never did. I always said Agnes. Oh, no. Don't move. Stand up. Turn around and stop. Get out of here. Quit They're like, what are you hitting me for? I don't know where we've been, and I've just been there. They can't follow us. We're safe. You really think so? I will if you will. I couldn't do that. Could you do that? How can they do that? Who are those guys? Got someone who knows what they're doing. Be bad if they catch up with you though, and you're both on the same horse. They're not going for it. Not good. Wonder if it's Pinkerton's or if it's just the marshal got some good recruits. You are crazy. You are both of you crazy. They throw you in jail for a thousand years each. Oh, that's all right. There's some hankies there in the top drawer you can use to gag me. Oh, this is work. Uh, this is work, Ray. Your times is over, and you're gonna die bloody. And all you can do is choose where. All you can do is choose where. <laughs> well, <laughs> cold, but kind of true. <laughs> and you're on one horse, which is really not good. <laughs> Wasting your time. You can't track us over rocks. Tell them that. How? <laughs> How? A gunshot, maybe? We got to talking to some gambler that night, and he told us about an Indian. A full blooded Indian, except he called himself with an English name. The guy on the ground, I think it's him. Don't they get tired? Don't they get hungry? Be. He always wears a white skimmer. That's how you tell it's Joe LaForest, because he wears a white straw hat. He's in a white hat. That poor horse. <laughs> Carrying two guys and climbing all over the creation. Come on, get out of here. It's interesting. Oh, they're leaving the horse. They don't follow the horse. You're the brains, Butch. It's like this is not going to end well. <laughs> you know, it's interesting how much of this movie doesn't have a soundtrack. Like, it comes in really strong when it's there, but a lot of the time it's just silent. Just the noise. <sighs> Having more Red Dead flashbacks. <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. Oh, there we go. Taking a tumble. Damn it! They're gonna jump, aren't they? Kid, the next time I say let's go someplace like Bolivia, let's go someplace like Bolivia. Next time, we'll jump. You wanna die? Do you? <laughs> All right. What's the matter with you? I can't swim! <laughs> oh, it's just like John Marston. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, goodness. You're joking me! I can't swim! I can't you I can't swim! I can't swim! They cracked me up, man. <laughs> Mr. Harriman has his way. Hmm? Mr. E.H. Harriman of the Union Pacific Railroad. He resents the way you've been picking on him. If 
he'd just pay me what he's spending to make me stop robbing him, I'd stop robbing him. <laughs> you say they're hired permanent? No, just till they kill you. The minute you start to whine or make a nuisance, I don't care where we are, I'm dumping you flat. Don't sugarcoat it like that, kid. Tell her straight. I'll do anything you ask of me, except one thing. I won't watch you die. Are they gonna make it to Bolivia? <laughs> That's a long way. Back to sepia. They're just making a road trip out of it. They're on the boat. Wow. They actually made it. Now what? <laughs> Ain't exactly paradise. <laughs> well, you know, it could be worse. You get a lot more for your money in Bolivia. I, I checked on it. I was born there. I was born in New Jersey. Brought up there. The total tonnage of what you don't know is enough to shatter. I'm not sure we're accomplishing as much as we might here. Well, he'll feel a lot better after he's robbed a couple of banks. <laughs> the thing to remember when don't we Don't tell me how to rob a bank. I know how to rob a bank. Thought we were coming here to get away from the life. <laughs> Going right back to Robin, folks. And then we're gonna get the law on us in Bolivia. Para que los atiende inmediatamente, los atendemos, por favor. Señor? I got nervous, I forgot the word, shoot me. You've had worse ideas lately. Manos, um... Todos ustedes arismense a la pared. They're against the wall already. Donde es? Ah, you're so damn smart. You read it. Oh my gosh. That was so chaotic. <sighs> Here we go again. Right down there to it. Oh no! You can take the outlaw out of America, but you can't take. I don't know. <laughs> She's having a blast doing this, isn't she? <laughs> Pardon the pun. I mean, he can't arrest us and he can't take us out of here. He'll go straight. So you want jobs. You're from the U.S. of A. Every mine around gets its payroll held up. Some say that it's the banditos' young keys. Can I move? Move? What the hell you mean move? Across the high mountains with her lover, I Going straight. For now. <laughs> Do those things give a mule a wedgie? <laughs> it's an honest question. <laughs> we hit this place in June, didn't we? Of course, you uh, probably think I'm crazy, but I'm not. Bingo. I'm colorful. That 
No, I liked him. He was colorful. Let's get out of here. Kid, there's something I think I ought to tell you. I never shot anybody before. One hell of a time to tell me. Por favor. Por favor. They get hit. Okay. I thought the camera was about to pan down and like he'd gotten shot or something. <sighs> Well, they got him. <laughs> I might go back ahead of you. Whatever you want, Ed. Pretty scenery here. Those vaquero saddles have such big horns on the front of them. I don't enjoy jungles and I don't enjoy swamps. I don't like snakes. I don't much care for night work. I don't like snakes either. <laughs> Especially the house, and it's still moving. Don't you get sick of being right all the time? Reloading. Just another day in the life. <laughs> okay. So I told you. Nice beaches. You can learn to swim. No, swimming isn't important. Everything's got to be perfect with you. Well, I just don't want to get there and find out it stinks. That's all. At least think about it. For a moment, I thought we were in trouble. They spared me the trauma of having to actually watch it happen. <laughs> she said she didn't want to see him die, so she left, went on home before him, because I think she knew. I think she knew. <sighs> Man, that was such a good movie. I really enjoyed it. You know, it was, it was so much fun. <laughs> Like, it, it was even more fun than I expected it to be in terms of just the the chemistry, the dynamic between Butch and Sundance. It was just so much fun watching them bicker and banter like an old married couple the whole movie. <laughs> it was so much fun. Paul Newman and Robert Redford did such a great job. You know, m making it. You have to make outlaws charismatic and fun, or you're going to be rooting against them, right? So they did a good job of making them really likable, um, even though they're literally robbing people throughout the whole movie. You know, the the trains and the banks and all that. But you can't help but enjoy watching them. <laughs> oh my goodness, so many. Uh, so many Red Dead vibes in that movie. I'm a big Red Dead Redemption fan, and there were several scenes that I was like, 
Red Dead 2 definitely was inspired by Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid here. And I never knew that because I played the video game first and hadn't seen this movie. So um, it's always really cool. Like it happens to me a lot because of my age and being born after a lot of these things were made. Watching things, playing games, and then going back and watching classic films from way before and going, oh, so that's where this thing came from. That's where this inspiration came from. And I kind of discover them backwards instead of seeing a movie and immediately going, oh, that was inspired by Alien or whatever. I'm kind of going backwards in that way of watching Alien or something and then going, oh, I see how Alien inspired this movie and this movie and this thing here. So it's a really, it's a cool and a weird experience at the same time. Um, kind of experiencing things out of order like that, but I really enjoyed this movie and again I, I've talked about it before how I love how certain movies Have very little soundtrack and then when the soundtrack comes in it just it's like boom It's like a it's a big moment and a big thing because it's not there most of the time And I really loved how they did the montages in this movie. I haven't seen montages quite Quite like how they were done in this film before and I really enjoyed it um, you know it wasn't just film it was like all these different images of them and switching between the sepia and the color I thought was a really great um, effect there it's like reminding you that it's it happened very it happened a long time ago and it's reminding you of kind of the historical vibe and the time period and I just I love that um, gosh, that was just, it, it, it's very close to my heart because I, um, I'm working on my own Western novel, which I've mentioned a few times on the channel before. And uh, for those of you who are curious, I'm on the, the final round of edits now. I'm about halfway through the book. And so sometime in the next month or two, I'm going to be finishing that and trying to find a publisher. Um, but anyway, it's, the Western is especially close to my heart right now because I'm working on my first novel and it's a Western. Um, and seeing certain similarities, I'm not going to be super specific about that yet, but seeing certain similarities and things that remind me of other things, I'm just like, oh, the feels. <laughs> and yeah, the Red Dead Redemption stuff too. I am just, that, that's my favorite game of all time is Red Dead Redemption 2, so I can't help but think of it when I watch um, westerns, especially one like this where Red Dead was clearly inspired by this to some degree and certain dynamics remind you of certain characters and certain scenes and all of that. I don't want to go too much into detail because I don't want to spoil people on things that happened. Um, but yeah, I just, the western is absolutely my my favorite genre and I will forever be reacting to westerns on this channel because they just never get old for me. Um, there's something just so just the fun and adventure and also the tragedy of it. There's almost always a note of bittersweet and tragedy in westerns and it varies depending on the film like just how tragic it is. Um, you know, do we lose our, our hero our, or our outlaw at the end, or um, is the tragedy more the fact that the West and the frontier is coming to an end and you're seeing industry and civilization kind of taking over? There's different, you know, kinds of tragedy that you see uh, in these films, and sometimes it is the character getting shot, and sometimes it's a more quiet, slow, like, death you're watching of a certain era. And knowing, like, um, I don't want to say the cowboy era came to an end because there are still so many ranches uh, here in America and cowboys and farmers still living the lifestyle, but it's much more reduced now. So much of the, the country has been civilized and industrialized and all of that. So it's not the same as it used to be. You know, I think the numbers used to be something like 70% of uh, Americans were living on farms and 30% were living in cities. And now it's like 70% in cities and 30% on farms, maybe. Um, so the, the whole dynamic of how people were living back then has shifted. Um, so 
that's often a theme in Westerns of that kind of that shift starting to take place, sort of, very slightly compared to now. Um, but yeah, all of that to say, I, I remember reading, see, for some reason I had the name Laura or something in my head as I remembered there was a woman in the Wild Bunch who, um, Laura or Louisa or something, I thought there was a, a woman in the Wild Bunch, at least one or two, um, who were romantically involved with, I think, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and I think occasionally took part in certain robberies, so I think that's um, who Edda was here. And see, it's hard because I have kind of bits and pieces of information in my mind, and I think I remember, obviously I remember the name wrong because her name was Edda in this, um, but I remember, I think, reading about the woman who was part of the Wild Bunch and how she did survive and um, kind of just lived out a normal life after all this went down. So I'm assuming I, I'm connecting the right person here with Etta in my mind. Um, but yeah, I had no memory or knowledge of what happened to Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I don't even know if what was in this film was historically accurate or if they just don't know and they came up with something. Um, but yeah, it is, it's, it's very tragic seeing, you know, the inevitable outcome of the outlaw life, you know, you're on the run and eventually the law is going to catch up with you. Your bad deeds are going to catch up with you. And if you don't change, if you don't change uh, before it's too late, then it's too late. And they just could never, let go of that lifestyle. It was who they were. And I think they would have been bored. I think they would have been bored and unhappy if they were not living that lifestyle. They just couldn't give it up. Um, and it's sad and it's tragic, but their, their friendship really was heartwarming. And again, I loved their banter. Paul Newman and Robert Redford did such a wonderful job. And Catherine Ross was great too. Um, really great film, fun film, but also tragic at the end. So, uh, the gut punch, <laughs> but I really did enjoy it so much. So thank you to everyone who voted for it on the poll this week. I've put it on polls like at least five times <laughs> and I, I finally, I waited like a few months and I was like, okay, I'm going to try it again. Cause I've been really wanting to watch it for a long time and it would never quite win the poll, but this time it finally did. And I'm so glad that I finally got to watch this movie and watch it with you guys. So thank you so much to everyone who voted for it on the poll. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to head on over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash madisonktames, and you can see the full-length reaction there and full-length reactions to all of the other movies that I've watched as well. And you can also vote on polls for which movie will I watch next. So be sure to head on over and check that out if you're interested. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week for Film Friday number 34. Bye guys.